Hey guys, Scott from Scott Phillips Trading here, and I'm going to show you how to do the practical part of the altcoin investing system today. So what I want to show you here is how to use this spreadsheet, and we've got this spreadsheet called altcoin investing. What you're going to need to do is firstly go to the file menu and go make a copy, and make a copy in your own Google, uh, in your own Google account, and then you'll have this this will be yours. Now what we need to do is assemble a universe of coins that we follow. Now I've done uh, I've done my universe here, you might want to change this, but I've got an API installed here that will pull the live prices and work out profit changes and and things like that. So this so this universe is a nice place to start. You might want to make it smaller, you might want to make it bigger. Now what I have here in this tab called crypto data, we have every single coin, uh, you know, I think there's about 1,300 of them, yeah, nearly 1,400 different coins. So you can search them. You can search that. You can search them by volume, by market cap, by price. Um, they're sorted default in in a rank by market cap. So if you want to go through the top 200 coins, you can go through the two, top 200 there. So anyway, our day to day routine is the first thing we do when we wake up every day. We start at the top of the list and we go and we check all these coins. So the first one that we're going to check is ADX, which is ADX, and we're going to look. We're going to uh, we're going to look at the charts in US dollar by preference. Now, we look at this. Have we have we got a breakout? We already had a breakout and we're long. We're looking for a breakout from an old high here. We got long there. We're still we're still in the game. Okay, then we go to the next one on the list, which is Tron. Now, this is a situation that you're going to see a lot. Tron has it against BTC. You can see it's falling against BTC, and but we really want to see a price uh, in US dollars. So what we're going to use is this other charting package called BitScreener, which is also free, and we can see it in US dollars. No, there's no breakout, so we move to the next one. Next one is BAT. BAT. We type BAT into Trading View. We get here. We bought in the we bought in the breakout here. So we bought it at thirty two cents, and now it's seventy seven cents. So we're, so what we're doing with the system is we're buying breakouts. The longer the consolidation pattern before the breakout, the better. And so one at a time we go down through these lists. If we see anything that's remotely like a like a breakout today, I don't I think I think this one, PIVX, is close to a breakout. Okay. So PIVX is close to this breakout here, but not quite. So anything that's close to a breakout, we do two things. We first of all add it to the potential trades in here. And the second thing we do is we go to Trading View, and we go Add an Alert. You can you can do that with Alt A, or you just click on this up here. And we want to see what is the uh, what is the value here. The high is 15.69. So if it crosses value 15.69, we're going to play an alert every time, and we're going to play a sound for five seconds. Okay, so uh, you can see this red line here. When that's crossed, we're going to get a, a, a noise. Okay, so we've set an alert there. Now, the other things that you have to do with this spreadsheet is every day, the first thing that you do is you put in your date and you put in your equity in uh, in BTC and then your uh, sorry your equity in U your equity in US dollars, which you get from here. This uh, this calculates it for you. And then once you've got your equity, you just write it down with the date, you know, 1118, equity is 200, 123, blah, blah, blah. Um, you fill out your equity curve there. And the last one here is your actual trades. When you enter a trade, uh, you, you just put the trade, the date, the coin, the, the buy price, um, uh, the amount, the, the whole thing. You fill that in, and that's all good. Okay, so so once again to recap, we're scrolling down these things. First of all, we're we're putting our equity curve in. 
then we're scrolling down these, checking them once per day only for breakouts. If there's a breakout, we buy it according to the position sizing uh, in the document that's in your member section. Uh, if you haven't got it, just check your member section and, and, and it's all in there with very detailed instructions on the price action setup and, and the position sizing and everything else you need to know. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.